Hi everyone, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to deploy a Django web app on AWS using Amazon EC2. So in this video, I'll show you how to deploy this blog application on AWS using Amazon EC2 instance. So without further ado, we are getting started right now. So first of all, go down to your, go down to the browser and if you go down to AWS, sign up and log into your account. And it's currently, I'm currently logged into my AWS account. So once I'm here, I'll come, come, up, come down to the search bar here and search for e, EC2. You understand? So search for it. So we simply, so you can see this first icon. This first item is the EC2. So click on it. So it's going to come up. So it's loading. So it's going to need some time to load up. Okay. So once it is done loading, so you click on instances. The first item on the list, instances, click on it. So once you click on that, so it's a simple step so once you click on instances you then come up here you can see we have a button on the top right so click on this launch instances click on it okay so it should come up okay so right now we're going to give our instance a name in so i'm going to call my i'm going to say let's say new new server so new server you understand so we just give it a, a space in between new and then i think server okay that done so once we've done that just scroll down a bit so you can see here it says application and os images so we are going to go with the defaults so currently aws is using the amazon linux os you get so we are going to stick to that so just scroll down once we scroll down so make sure your instance type is Make sure your instance step is t3.micro. If you're on the free plan, make sure your instance step is t3.micro. You understand? So, okay, just keep scrolling. So, we're going to skip this skip here. Skip it. And then I think that's all for here. Yeah? So, okay. So, I think everything is fine here. Yeah? So, once you're done, click on launch instance on the right. Launch instance. So, it's true. so you can see we have, it, we have it right now you can see there's a pop-up on the screen so it's saying that so just click on proceed without skip here click on this and then the port is then click on the button so proceed without skip here so if you've done that now then you can then click on launch instance again click on it so we've clicked on it now okay now it's trying to create our security group so once this is done we will proceed so it's loading almost done so it's done already once it's done i just scroll down and then click on view instances so right now we're going to see our instance here it's loading it's trying to get the instances we have so currently we can see our instances our instance is called new server so this web server you see here is the one i did before but currently we are this we are on this new server so it's running so we are going to wait for this status so it's still initializing so okay so our status is still showing initializing so let's check if it's done so click on this refresh icon let's refresh this page so it's loading the, so right now it's trying to load up the instances again so okay right now it says two over two checks passed so we are good to go you can see remember we are the new server so just click on this checkbox check the box there and once you've done that so click on connect up here connect so let's see so it's going to connect so okay it's connecting so right now this is our ip address nice this is our ip address to assess our blog online you understand so well, we are not done yet to get going to continue come over here click on this connect button at the bottom connect so it's going to take quite some time so as you're doing this make sure you have your project on github make sure you've deployed this on github so if you do not deploy your project on if, if you don't know how to deploy it on github i have a tutorial in this video description whereby i showed you how to deploy a django web app on github so make sure you have a, make sure you have your project on github before you do this before you follow this tutorial it's very very important because we are going to use github to connect to aws ec2 instead so currently it's trying to load up my load up a virtual command line for me it says establishing the connection so it's going to take quite some time okay so right now this this the right now this what you see here this code this what we have on the screen this web application we have here 
already have it on GitHub, it's been deployed on GitHub, that's perfect. So what you need to do now is that, okay, come down to your issue to connect. Okay, it's done connecting, so it's done now. So we're gonna clear up all these things. So we're gonna run some Linux command here. So now, let's run the, so we're gonna run some basic Linux command here. Remember AWS, this is, remember when, remember when we were creating this instance, we picked Amazon Linux. That was the default. So we are gonna run some, we are gonna run some Linux command. So right now, to clear up all these things we have on the screen, so I'll just write in there clear and then enter. So it's just clear them up. So on this GitHub repository, I'm going to share to you guys this GitHub page. So if you scroll down, I already list out the steps on how you can deploy this project on Amazon EC2. I already, I already listed out the steps on how you can deploy this web app on Amazon EC2. So we already have the steps here. So first of all, we have to update our AWS system. We have to update it. Just copy this code, Ctrl C. And come over here and let's paste that. You can paste it here and then paste and then enter. So it says complete, nothing to do. That's perfect. So once we've done this now, we need what's the next step on the line. Let's see. So what we need to do next, we need to install Git. Remember, we need to clone, we need to clone this project into our AWS server instead. We need to clone it. So remember, we, we don't have Git on AWS. We need to install Git. So Copy this code here, the second one. So we are going to install Git here. Copy and then so I connect and then paste here and enter. So it's going to install Git for us. So okay, it's installing Git. It's inst currently it's installing Git. So Git has been installed. Some Git has been installed. We need to clone this repository. We need to clone it. So this, this is the code over here. So just run this Git clone. So we're going to run this command. Don't worry, I will draw the links. Don't worry, I will give you guys the links to, to this repository. You're gonna find links to this repo in this video's description. So don't worry about that. So just copy this. Once you're done copying, come over here again and we just paste it and paste and then enter. So we actually so right now we are cloning this repo. We understand. So it's been cloned. So this has been cloned now. Let's see. It's done cloning. It's done cloning. So I'm gonna clear up some more. Okay, let's just keep going. I will clear this. Uh, let me clear things up. Clear. Okay, we've cleared up what we have on top. So perfect. Once it's done cloning now, so all you need to do is this. We need to go into this directory. This directory called new blog, new Django blog. We need to change directory into this directory over here. It starts to come over here. So I'll just simply say ls then lrt. I'm going to see the, right now. I'm going to see the contents we have. So ls lrt. So right now, I need to change directory into this current folder. Remember this folder is what we have here. You can see it here on GitHub. So just me say cd new underscore Django underscore blog. Enter. So that's done. So once we've done, once we've done this, what we need to do next, we need to install Django. And it's time to install Django. Before you can install Django, we, we, we have to install pip first. Instead, so just copy this. Let's install pip. So with pip, we can then install Django. So, okay, let's just paste and then enter. So we've installed pip, so pip is currently installing. So I'm gonna clear this up. So pip has been installed. So once pip have been installed now, let's install Django, you understand? So, okay. So this is the command here, pip install Django. Just copy the browser paste enter so currently it's installing so currently we are installing Django so Django is currently coming up so this is done what's the next step we need to make migrations migrate and do the normal stuff we do in but in Django you understand so so Django is done creating so we're gonna say so let's make migrations just copy this to make things fast Python 3 and then we come over here we paste enter you try an error it says cannot use image field because pillow is not installed okay let's install pillow so we need to install this library called pillow so we're going to say pip install pillow so enter so currently it's installing so currently it is installing pillow so once that is done we are going to make migrations and see if it works so still installing pillow there so let's make migrations again so you can use your arrow keys to 
to scuffle between to to check out for your previous commands so enter so okay be able to make migrations so let's migrate this time so say migrate and then enter so everything is going well so i think we can then okay right now we can run server you can you, you can decide to create a super user if you want to you can decide to okay but we can we can run server currently let's run the server so for you to run so look at the command here so i'm going to run the server this way instead i'm going to run the server this way you can create a super user if you want to create that's up to you but i'm going to skip that so let's run server ctrl c and remember what i can see i say run server zero dots so we have we have four zeros then the port eight thousand so i'm going to show you why we have to do this so just run the server here ctrl c necessary and then come over here and then let me just clear things up and then just paste enter so currently our server is running so once you've done this now we are almost done so go down to your go down to here click on this tab then click on click on ec2 click on it okay once you've done this we can let's see Okay, once we've done this now, click as I said, as I, I told you to click on EC2, right? So we will brought down to this page again. Remember, we were on this page before. So click on instances running, click on it. So we are there, we, we were here before, so we are back here again. So once you've done this, so it's gonna load up. So these are our current instance, right? These are our current instance. So click on this instance ID, click on it. So once we've done this now, just scroll down a bit, scroll down because when we have security. So click on this tab, this security tab. So click on it. Okay, once you're here, you can see we have this inborn rules, inborn rules, right? So we need to go and edit our inborn rules. You get so click on these security groups you see here. Click on it. This security groups. Click on this link. Instead, click on. It. So mine is called Launch Wizard Four. Yours might be called launch wizard one because I've done this up to four. This is the fourth time I'm doing this currently. So yours might be called launch wizard one. So click on this link under your security tab. So click on it. Okay, it should come up right now. Okay, it's loading. So we are here already. So just scroll down a bit. That's where it says here edit inbound rules. So click on this button. So click on it. So it's not difficult. So we are here already. So we are going to add a new rule. So currently our inbound rules comes with a, comes with a, 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 already has a rule. So we are going to add a new rule for our for our deployment. So I'm going to add a new rule for this deployment. So come over here. So click on add rule. Once you're here now. So custom to CP that's fine. So our port range. Remember if we check here. We are currently using eight thousand port eight thousand. So come back here. Make sure you put in 8,000 here, 8,000. So once you've done that now, click on this field here. Click on 000, this first one. Click on it, the first one. Once you've done that, I think that's it. So I think we can then save rules, save rules. So it's saving, it's processing. So I think that's done. So that's done. So click on this EC2, go back here again, EC2. Okay, instances. Okay, open for us. So click on this instance ID, click on this link. Okay, so you can see here's our here's the here's our IP, our public IP. You can click on open address, click on it. So click on that here. If you, if you can't find your IP, just come to this where we have here. This is your public IP here. You can see it here you can see how the public ip so just copy this this is this is going to work it's the same thing as what we have here so currently it's loading so it's, going to, so it's not going to work so remember we need to put in the port so currently we only have the ip there we need to also add this 8000 series for it to work so come down here let's add the 8000 so it's not working so so now add the port number 8000 because currently it's showing https so Make sure you move the S there. Make sure you move the S. It does not have the security yet, so remove the X there. If you, if you don't remove it, it's not going to work. Make sure you move that S. It's gone. And then put in your port number, which is 8000. 8000, right? So enter. Let's see. Okay, now you can see we've deployed right now. We've been able to deploy this web app on 
on Amazon EC2 on AWS instead, so it's working perfectly. You understand? But it's working perfectly as you can see. Working perfectly. If you click on the read more, you can see. Let's read more. You can see we can read more in a particular blog article. You can decide to like a blog post. You can see you have not logged in. If you are logged in, you can like a blog post. So the source code to this project is on GitHub. You understand the same thing of what we have. This is the source code for the blog app. You understand? And this is, these are the steps on how you can deploy it on Amazon, on, on AWS. You understand? So everything is looking good now. Looking good now. But currently, our project uses is still on SQL like 3. You understand? As you can see up here, we are still on the default database. Instance, so in production, you are is, is advised to use something like Postgres. So instance, so I will show you, I will give you guys, I will, I will drop a tutorial in this video description on how you can connect to a Postgres database for free. Instance, if you check also, our web app is also is also serving media files by itself that's not the way it should be you understand you're meant to host your media you're meant to host your media files on a separate server so i also link that in tutorial on how you can host your media files on aws x3 bucket so right now we've, right now we've been able to deploy our web app on aws ec2 instance so everything is going everything is working well so create your account on aws and then deploy your Django web app there is as easy as ABC. So see in the next video. So stay blessed and bye bye.